Let's finish today with the USMNT, the United States Men's National Team, as they return to action in CONCACAF, uh, a game against Mexico on Friday. Uh, quite a game over here, of course, and of course, after that, against Jamaica. But there's a lot of talent uh, being resurfaced, of course, as the January transfer window. We obviously know about the big names that already are in Europe, right? Weston McKenney, Pulisic, Brendan Aronson, but Fabrizio, Ricardo Pepe continues to be a major talking point. Of course, we've had him. He's a friend of the show. Um, what is the latest on him? Because we keep hearing rumors about a move in January because he's ready to move on. Yes. And as we know, a lot of clubs are interested in him from Ajax. We can move to Italian clubs. And I'm talking about important clubs, uh, maybe with a collaboration. You remember that for Brian Reynolds, they were trying to do something Benevento and Juventus together and mm. before he was joining Roma. And this is something that could happen for Ricardo Pepe because Inter are watching this situation. Many clubs are interested. So Italy, um, Netherlands, so Dutch league, and also also Bundesliga because some Bundesliga clubs are so serious on Ricardo Pepe. So it will be a super race. I'm told that it's not easy because some clubs in Italy were thinking to spend eight or nine million euro, but you are not signing Ricardo Pepe for this money. So they will need more to convince Dallas to to let him go. But I'm sure that in January something is going to happen for for Ricardo Pepe. I'm super happy for Weston McKennie because finally after difficult periods he's now performing so well with Juventus. Massimiliano Allegri is always playing him as a starter, so he's back at McKennie level as we know as we know him really difficult moment for Brian Nails let me say Jose Mourinho was humiliating him last time mm. in his last interview after the Venezia game he said Inter have Dumfries if Darmian is not playing Milan have Romagnoli if Kier is not playing we only have Reynolds if Karlsdorp is not playing and it's not the best way to motivate a player, but I'm sure that Reynolds will leave the club in, in January. And then let's see what happens also with another interesting boy, that is Daryl Dyke, this striker, 21 yeah. years old. Super interesting because I'm told that some Italian club is watching him so closely. And so maybe in January or next time we will talk about him too. Wow, Daryl DK from Orlando City, who, by the way, scored this weekend as well. So he's being watched by Serie A clubs. That's very, very interesting. Let me ask you a final question. You may not have any more intel on this, but I, I do wonder about players like Brendan Aronson, for example. We know, obviously, that Salzburg, a very good team, but, you know, not, uh, with all due respect, uh, a team like uh, a good team would be in the Bundesliga and, of course, the Premier League. Is there any chance that you think Brendan Aronson, maybe not in January, of course, but in the summer, could move on? Uh, I'm also thinking, by the way, and I'll include there Christian Pulisic, OK, because obviously Thomas Tuchel has a system, has a plan. They know each other well. But, you know, I wonder if moves will be done in 2022 for either player. Yes, I think for the next summer, Aaron should be one of the players to to keep an eye on. I think in January it's going to be but summer is one of the names. Also because as is happening for many American players here in Europe, they're so appreciated, not just because they're good on the pitch, because they're so consistent, you know, they're so professional, they're super focused on football. And he's one of the players that is appreciated on this point. This is why I think in the summer, yes, you will have some opportunities to move to the top Bundesliga clubs or maybe to the Premier League if you will continue performing at, at goal lever. But for Pulisic, as you mentioned, with Tuchel, the relationship is so good. So at the moment, we don't have any signal for him to, to leave the club. A lot of clubs would be ready to move for him if Chelsea one day will change their mind on Pulisic. But at the moment, he's still under control with Tuchel, who wants to keep him, wants to keep Hudson Odoi. So Chelsea, I think, in general, don't want to let go some big players. Well, Daryl DK is definitely the one that really uh, I, I'm enjoying that one. If there's a Serie A club, is there is it is it more than one Serie A club? Is it multiple? We are around two, three clubs, I'm told, that are following his situation. Yes, let's see. I think it, I don't know if it'll be January or if it'll be next summer, but they, they know this boy is really interesting. <laughs>